for lab this week, I simply want students to begin making their poster assignment. So to see that assignment, you'll uh, go into the content part of our class, scroll down to assignments, and this assignment has been up there, I think for a week or two, but I'll show you where it is. So go to assignments, and under assignments, there's um, how to make a poster, and um, an assignment for this week is the actual paper that you'll be using for your poster. So let's start off by going into this folder called how to make a poster. And here is an example that um, uh, another student made. Uh, you can look at that. We'll see how it opens up. Yeah. So actually, um, Emily was an exercise science student and she made this poster. She was on the hockey team and she tested some hockey players. So here's an example of a poster and you've probably seen these before. So that's an example. Um, your um, assignment is typed out here and it's also here at this link. So your assignment is to start off by finding a paper. So you're going to find a peer-reviewed scientific paper. Uh, it needs to be peer-reviewed, it needs to be scientific, and it needs to be relatively recently, so the last 10 years. And the topic of the paper is something to do with aerobic exercise intensity. So anything to do with it, like how to measure it, how to you know, prescribe it, you know, what happens with training, I don't know, anything to do with aerobic exercise intensity. So you're going to find a good paper. And you're going to use that paper and pretend it is your project. And you're going to cut and paste from that paper into a poster. So you will need the actual PDF of the paper. So you've got to be able to find it. Um, and so sometimes <coughs> it helps to use um, SUNY Cortland's library. Uh, to find the actual PDF of the paper because we actually have a lot of PDF files. Um, Medline is a, is a there's Medline with um, uh, complete papers. There's um, Sport Discus with complete papers. So those are two I know that have them. So go to the SUNY Cortland website link and download a poster pem template. So go to this library and there's poster templates in here. So here are templates. And they're just going to be big, giant um, PowerPoint slides. So it's one picture of a PowerPoint. So here's a template. And, um, and I would sort of keep, the, keep these text boxes where they are because they've all been organized. And they just have you know, random things in there, you're going to delete this random stuff and you're going to cut and paste stuff from the journal paper that you found. So there's an example of a template. And if we go back to our um, uh, Blackboard, there's the templates. So you're going to download a template, whichever one you like, and you're going to just be doing some cutting and pasting. So you're going to have to use the PDF file and you're going to highlight some things and cut and paste. So you're going to cut and paste the authors and you're going to paste it into the top of that PowerPoint template. You're going to take the whole abstract and you're not going to retype it. You're going to cut and paste and stick it into the abstract portion of that template. Uh, you are going to have to type out in your own words a background section for the poster. So you can look and see what the authors wrote in their introduction, and you've got to type that out in your own words. And same with methods. You're going to have to read what the authors wrote in the PDF file of the paper, and you have to type out methods. But it's not much. I mean, it's a paragraph, but you need to type that out into the section in the template for the poster. 
And then uh, in the paper, there's going to be some fun graphs and some fun tables. You need to find out which ones you think are important. And it's probably not all of the graphs. It's probably not all the tables, maybe two or three, I don't know, that you think are important. And you will highlight those graphs and control C, control V, and stick those into the template of the PowerPoint. Uh, and then type out in your own words the conclusion that will fit into the poster. And then save it. So it's a big, giant PowerPoint slide, just one page of a PowerPoint. And you're going to go File, Save As, and you'll save it with your name. And make sure it looks pretty. Make sure there are no typos. Uh, and that then is saved as a PowerPoint slide. Um, I would like to see it as a PDF. So when you go File, Save As, you can actually save it as a PDF file, and then you'll upload that PDF file and also the paper into this poster assignment. And that's not due until May, so you have a little bit to work on that, which is great. Uh, but I want you to get started on that this week. So this week, the actual paper is required. You don't need to read it. You don't need to review it. You just need to find a good paper about... Um, aerobic exercise um, intensity and you're going to upload that into this link um, and that's worth I think 10 points for a lab grade for this week. So this is a short explanation of this assignment of how to uh, make a uh, poster and you're not making it, it's not your own data but you're going to copy the data into a poster template from uh, from SUNY Cortland Library.